Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan. I'm a collector and I'm a full-time reseller. I find things through different avenues like thrift stores, uh, Facebook Marketplace, um, garage sales, offer up, and I sell them typically on eBay and Mercari. So 2021 has been kind of an interesting year for me, both buying and um, selling and collecting. So this is my first video of 2022. Happy New Year to you. So I kind of wanted to just go into um, how things have kind of changed for me this past year um, in, a, in a very good way. And uh, some things that I kind of wanted to improve on this coming year. So 2021, um, actually let me rewind it. 2020, when the pandemic uh, happened, I ended up meeting a gentleman through Facebook Marketplace. And he's been pretty much my sole um, source this past year. I typically meet him like once a week. And he brings me usually like a trunk full of toys or um, a small bin of like Disney pins. And I would typically go through them um, and give him a price of what I would be able to give for him um, based on what he provided to me. So this has been almost like a, uh, almost like a two-year process now considering, uh, we're, well, April will be two years. So it's been like a really crazy journey dealing with one person that has this mega collection of stuff. And I've actually come to become friends with him um, throughout this whole process. You know, like when I originally met him, um, he had some items listed and uh, he told me he had more stuff. And I told him I was interested, but I didn't hear back from this guy. Um, and it wasn't until he listed some other like Marvel Legends figures that I reached out to him like almost immediately and I said hey I'm interested in this you know when can I pick this up and so it wasn't until like the second meeting of this um, transaction that I took that to take in place that um, he kind of gave me exclusivity to buying from him because before this he had another buyer that he was buying I'm sorry he was selling uh, things like Jurassic Park original figures from the 90s um, he sold a lot of you know, vintage Star Wars figures, really good stuff. And um, so I think, you know, me giving him fair prices, uh, me meeting him on time, uh, being, you know, honest with him and a lot of things that um, he was, you know, um, having as far as stuff that he had for sale. So, and there was also a situation where, um, you know, like early, early in the pandemic, you know, there wasn't face masks that you could um, buy in the stores and like the local county was putting some kind of mandate that you had to wear them you know to go out to go shopping and this and that and um, you know he had reached out to me and asked hey you know where I can pick one up and um, my mom my wife was actually making masks and so I gave him a mask and he wanted to pay me for it and I said look the least I could do is just give you this item for free you know um, I'm just I, I don't need to make money from you on this mask you need it you know I have it you can have it so that kind of like started this 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 kind of friendship where he would give me the stuff. I wouldn't give him any money or anything. And he would trust me to have these items to give him a fair price, you know, the following week. And that's kind of what I've been dealing with, you know, for the past almost two years now. So, and now it's actually, it's gone from exchanging money into I'm buying stuff for him for his collection. Because now, um, I guess the money doesn't mean anything to him now because he would rather have collectibles. But uh, that's like another story in realm. So, 20, like I said, 2020, 2021, I bought a lot of um, different action figures, uh, you know, from the 90s, some retro stuff from the 80s. I ended up picking up like well over a thousand Disney plush figures. Um, the gentleman, you know, was a, a Disney cast member. So, a lot of the Disney stuff, you know, like came from the parks. Like, this has a Walt Disney World, you know, ticket. Um, bought a huge collection of Disney cars, um, both cars and play sets. I think there was like 600 individual cars or more. Um, most of it's been sold, um, as well as like different collectibles. Again, his his collection was mostly like Disney. So Pirates of the Caribbean, Mighty Ducks, Gargoyles, um, as well as like, you know, horror stuff, Aliens, Predator, all different kinds of toys and things. Um... Like I said, the, the biggest thing to me that um, I was able to, to, to buy from him was some movie props. Uh, this is actually a Bullet Bill from the Super Mario Brothers movie franchise, the one that uh, most people do not like. 
with John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins. So I had this is obviously just one one piece from you know what I bought. I bought other stuff that I I don't know if I can say just yet because I still have some stuff that's like out for auction and up for sale. So that'll be like another video. Um, but like I said, over over five thousand Disney pins. This is a I think a jumbo pin set. This is like a limited edition set of three hundred. A lot of different pin sets. Uh, some of the cool stuff that I was able to pick up included, um, you know, Star Wars pins, Disney, any Disney character pins like he had Donald Duck, uh, Steamboat, Mickey. So this this pin here, uh, there was an event that was called Star Wars Weekends, and a lot of the Star Wars actors came there, and you could you know have them sign pins, you could have them sign you know toys. So this this pin was sound uh, signed by Dave Prowse who played uh, Darth Vader. So that was something that I I added to like essentially my collection because this is not going to go anywhere. You know these 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 actors can't sign stuff anymore from the grave. I mean come on. So uh, this is Peter Mayhew who played Chewbacca, and then this one here was signed by Kenny Baker who was R two D two. So I don't know how much more stuff that he's got as far as like that kind of um, stuff for me to buy, but um, I, I just can't part with things like that, you know, from the collection. So that that kind of went into uh, some of the things I bought in the past year. Um, I'd made a video of some th stuff that I picked up uh, from my childhood, some animation art cells. So I was happy to pick that up this year. Um, was able to meet cool people, you know, in the YouTube community, community and, and uh, IG. Uh, this is a cool print by Austin LeMay, signed and remarked. Was able to meet, you know, one person in the community in, in, in real life. So I was happy, like I said, that uh, I made new friends, you know, both on YouTube and IG. And um, so that was, like I said, going into the positive things about, you know, buying and selling in 2021. I'm not going to really go into too much negative. I was just thinking maybe like, the negative about how, like, my collecting was for 2021, I kind of entered into it. Um, I was the kind of collector that I would buy, like, um, a comic book, like, with birthday money, um, Christmas money, uh, anniversary money, Valentine's Day money. So, like, you know, and I'm not saying, like, my wife's Valentine's Day money. Like, whatever she would get me, I'd say, honey, just let me buy this or let me put money towards this or that. And I'll buy something that I want. And uh, so that's kind of like how a, a collector I was before 2020. Um, I wouldn't buy much, you know, maybe a $100 comic book here, $50 raw book there, that type of thing. I wasn't too crazy with my money. Um, I think essentially this was more or less the most expensive book that I had bought. And this wasn't one book. This was like five books. It was, you know, a th ASM 300, um, a 298, 299. I bought it at a time when that book was like, $300 and that book came with a lot of other books that were well worth the value so I, I I didn't like I wasn't like the kind of person that liked to spend that kind of money I thought that was you know at the time I thought that was ridiculous to spend $300 on a comic book I, I just wasn't that that collector at that time and so I kind of kicked myself because now I'm I'm solely like into wanting to collect you know comics and stuff so and toys so again, going back into like my collecting habits for 2021, I kind of wish that I had sent books off to be graded because unfortunately now CGC up their their rates. So part of my goal for 2022 is I'd like to start sending in books um, to get graded so that either one, I'm satisfied with whatever grade this comes back with, or I can upgrade it to something that I would be maybe happier with. I don't know. So, like, these are some of the books that I definitely want to, you know, add to the collection, you know, to, to be graded. Because I, I'm, you know, I'm a collector of Spider-Man. I love X-Men. Um, that's, you know, what I grew up enjoying and reading. So, I want to be able to, to get these things, you know, encapsulated. So, because most of the things that I collect now are are graded books, unfortunately. I've, I've, I've been suckered into that uh, death trap. So another thing that I was thinking about um, in regards to 2022 is I wanted to start collecting more Storenko covers. Now this one I probably would like to maybe upgrade because of the, the tanning or foxing. and I wanted to get into, again, just 
getting some covers I didn't have in the collection, like Strange Tales 167. I don't know if I'm going to get Hulk, uh, Incredible Hulk Annual 1. I know that's starting to get to be a little bit expensive. Um, Uncanny X-Men 49, 50, 51. Those are kind of expensive, but I really like the covers, and obviously I like the characters that are premiered in those books. Uh, Captain America 110, 111, 113 have really classic, cool covers that Steranko did. So that's something I want to, you know, focus on, you know, for 2022. I was also thinking about um, trying to uh, leisurely finish collecting my uh, Spectacular Spider-Man run. I don't know that I can do an ASM run like a lot of people are doing. Um, those books are just getting to be, you know, out of my price range. I'd like to start collecting at least the Rogues Gallery, you know, like Hydro Man. Um, I don't have Hobgoblin. Uh, just different books like that. Tombstone. I want to get those books to have in the collection um, just so that I have them and then worry about it, you know, upgrading or finding other books. I mean, I would love to have a uh, sub ASM 1 to, you know, 50. Um, but that would probably require me selling some other book that didn't mean anything to me uh, in order for me to put that money back into, you know, the you know collecting or in, into the books. So that was pretty much, you know, some of what I'm thinking about as far as like, you know, my, my collecting, um, my collecting side. The other thing I was thinking about um, is I wanted to start um, getting back into collecting action figures. Because um, I was looking at today, uh, like my X-Men versus Street Fighter uh, action figures sets that I have. And I'm actually missing uh, just one figure to complete like this whole set. And that was uh, Juggernaut versus Chung Lee. So I, I don't know, these, these figures, you know, aren't really too, too, like, detailed. I mean, it's definitely like a 90s era style figure. But, you know, X-Men... Um, like Children of the Atom, Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. I actually have the whole Marvel vs. Capcom figure set. So that stuff was like really nostalgic for me. So I want to start maybe adding one figure a month. So that way I can be within budget, not be totally, you know, ridiculous with, the, with, my, with my spending. So I just need one figure to complete for, you know, this series. And then um, this is going to be a little bit more pricey for me to, to, to try to finish. I, I want to finish the uh, Build a Sentinel figure set. Um, this is probably one of my favorite figures. It's the uh, basically the original Spider-Man. It's got the Amazing Fantasy 15 comic book reprint in the, in, the, the, in the box. So I actually have Black Panther and um, Spider-Man. Those are probably one of the two most expensive figures. Um, I still need Cyclops. I need Mystique. Omega Red, Mr. Sinister, and Angel. And I'm not the kind of collector that I have to have both versions, you know, variants. As long as I have all the pieces to to, to finish the Sentinel, that would be great. Because that's just, you know, something that I've been kind of procrastinating. You know, like I bought those things from the gentleman that I've been talking about in 2021, 20, 2020. 20, but um, I just haven't had a chance to finish collecting because I was kind of like thinking, okay... Um, maybe he'll have it, maybe he'll find a bin that has the remaining figures that I need, because this gentleman is like a, a completionist, um, you know, I, I, I have all the cars figures from the original series that had the desert cards, and like, he had multiple copies of them, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have showed up with more of the Sentinel figures. So something that I kind of got excited, you know, collecting last month, I picked up this figure at Walmart. So I want to get into finishing the Transformers, the movie studio series figures. I want to pick up uh, Blur, uh, Hot Rod, Ultra Magnus, whatever figures they made for this, the, for the Transformers movie. I want to finish that so that I can put them in my Detoff because I have a couple of Ikea Detoffs that I have figures displayed in. It's very tempting to just keep it in the box, but, you know, if I can, I prefer really to have it open and on display um, although, like I said, I have so many things in the box. Um, but if I, like, go to garage sale and I find it, you know, I, I'd rather have it loose if I could. I, I hate breaking open packages and having them on display, but I, I kind of feel like I, I'm such a, you know, I, I have such a passion for Transformers that I kind of want to have these actually displayed. Because my son and I like Transformers. We, we collect and play together. And um, 
So there's a lot of things that I kind of grown out of, you know, collecting. You know, I, I, I used to collect these things called Grocery Gang. They were kind of like um, food fighter um, style, you know, figures, burger, um, banana, things like that. I, I kind of got out of like certain things. I have like a, a phase where I go through, um, whether it's in comic books or if it's in toys, you know, I, I, I buy, you know, um, these this run of books or I, I buy this book and then I decide, okay, well, I don't really care about that character so much more now because, you know, this character means more to me now. So I go through different phases like that. But anyways, so again, I'm, I'm wishing you guys a happy new year. I'm appreciative that you've watched this long. You know, thank you so much for your love and support, you know, of my videos. And uh, I'll, catch, I'll catch you on the flip side. Uh, stay tuned for a new video. Got other things coming very soon. Thanks. Bye.